Welcome to our channel. In today's fast-paced world, impulsive reactions often lead to unnecessary stress and conflict. The Buddhist principle of non-reaction, or upekka, offers a powerful antidote to this problem. Non-reaction involves maintaining equanimity and mindfulness in the face of external stimuli, allowing for thoughtful and compassionate responses rather than impulsive ones. This essay delves into the principles, benefits, and applications of non-reaction in Buddhism, providing a detailed and humanized exploration of its transformative power. Chapter 1. Understanding Non-Reaction Introduction to Non-Reaction Non-reaction, a central tenet in Buddhist philosophy, emphasizes maintaining a calm and balanced mind. It teaches us to observe our thoughts and emotions without becoming entangled in them. This practice allows for a more thoughtful and compassionate response, leading to greater emotional stability and inner peace. Historical Context and Development The concept of non-reaction originates from the teachings of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha. Born in ancient India around the 5th century BCE, the Buddha sought to understand the nature of suffering and the path to liberation, through deep meditation and introspection, he realized that attachment and aversion are primary sources of suffering. Non-reaction, therefore, became a fundamental practice to overcome these sources of suffering and achieve nirvana. Key Texts and Sutras Discussing Non-Reaction Several Buddhist texts and sutras elaborate on the importance and practice of non-reaction. The Satipatthana Sutta outlines the four foundations of mindfulness, emphasizing observing one's body, feelings, mind, and mental objects with mindfulness and equanimity. The Vimalakirti Nirdesa Sutra narrates the teachings of the lay practitioner Vimalakirti, who exemplifies the practice of non-reaction through his interactions with both lay people and monks, demonstrating how maintaining equanimity can lead to profound wisdom and compassion. Chapter 2. The Psychological Foundation – The Nature of the Mind and Emotional Reactions The human mind is conditioned to respond to stimuli based on past experiences and ingrained habits. These automatic reactions often lead to suffering, as they are driven by attachment, aversion and ignorance. Non-reaction involves recognizing these automatic responses and creating a space between stimulus and response – allowing for a more mindful and deliberate reaction. The role of mindfulness and awareness. Mindfulness, sati and awareness, sampajana, are crucial for practicing non-reaction. Mindfulness involves maintaining a moment-to-moment -moment awareness of one's thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment. Awareness provides the clarity and discernment needed to navigate experiences skillfully. Together, mindfulness and awareness empower individuals to recognize the arising of emotions and thoughts, allowing them to choose non-reaction over impulsive behavior. Cognitive Behavioral Parallels The principles of non-reaction in Buddhism have parallels in modern cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT. Both approaches emphasize the importance of observing one's thoughts and feelings without immediately acting on them. CBT techniques, such as cognitive restructuring and mindfulness-based stress reduction, MBSR, align with the practice of non-reaction, highlighting its relevance in contemporary psychological practice. Chapter 3. Non-reaction in daily life. Practical applications in everyday situations. Practicing non-reaction can significantly improve one's daily life. In stressful situations, such as a demanding work environment or interpersonal conflicts, non-reaction allows individuals to maintain composure and respond with clarity. For example, when receiving negative feedback at work, instead of reacting defensively, one can take a moment to breathe and reflect, leading to a more constructive and calm response. Personal Anecdotes and Stories from Practitioners Stories from Buddhist practitioners provide valuable insights into the practical applications of non-reaction. For instance, 
a practitioner might share how non-reaction helped them navigate a challenging family relationship. By observing their emotions without reacting, they were able to respond with compassion and understanding, ultimately strengthening the relationship. Techniques to Cultivate Non-Reaction Several techniques can help cultivate non-reaction. Meditation practices such as Vipassana and mindfulness meditation train the mind to observe thoughts and emotions without attachment. Daily mindfulness exercises, like mindful walking or eating, also reinforce the habit of non-reaction. Additionally, incorporating regular reflections on one's reactions and practicing patience can further develop this skill. Chapter 4. Benefits of Non-Reaction Emotional Stability and Mental Clarity One of the primary benefits of non-reaction is increased emotional stability and mental clarity. By observing emotions without becoming entangled in them, individuals can maintain a balanced and calm mind. This stability allows for clearer thinking and better decision-making, enhancing overall mental well-being. Improved Relationships and Social Harmony Non-reaction also leads to improved relationships and social harmony. When individuals respond to conflicts and disagreements with mindfulness and compassion, rather than impulsive reactions, it fosters understanding and cooperation. This approach can transform interpersonal dynamics, creating more harmonious and supportive relationships. Spiritual Growth and Enlightenment In the context of spiritual practice, non-reaction is essential for growth and enlightenment. By overcoming attachment and aversion, practitioners can transcend the cycle of suffering and move towards liberation. Non-reaction cultivates qualities such as patience, compassion, and wisdom, which are vital for spiritual development. Chapter 5. Challenges and Misconceptions Common Misunderstandings About Non-Reaction Despite its benefits, non-reaction is often misunderstood. One common misconception is that non-reaction equates to passivity or indifference. However, Non-reaction is not about ignoring or suppressing emotions, but rather observing them with mindfulness and responding with wisdom. It is an active and deliberate practice that requires effort and awareness. The difference between non-reaction and passivity, it is important to distinguish between non-reaction and passivity. Non-reaction involves a mindful observation of emotions and thoughts, allowing for a thoughtful and compassionate response. Passivity, on the other hand, implies a lack of engagement and can lead to apathy. Non-reaction empowers individuals to act with clarity and purpose, rather than being driven by impulsive. Chapter 7. Non-reaction and modern psychology, intersection with contemporary psychological theories. The principles of non-reaction in Buddhism align with several contemporary psychological theories. For example, mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, MBCT, integrates mindfulness practices to prevent relapse in depression, highlighting the relevance of non-reaction in modern psychology. Understanding this intersection provides a deeper appreciation of non-reaction's psychological benefits, the role of non-reaction in therapy, and self-help. Non-reaction plays a significant role in therapy and self-help. Therapists often encourage clients to observe their thoughts and emotions without judgment, fostering a state of non-reaction. Self-help practices, such as journaling and mindfulness exercises, also promote non-reaction, helping individuals develop emotional resilience and mental clarity. Empirical studies and findings. Empirical studies have demonstrated the benefits of non-reaction and mindfulness practices. Research shows that mindfulness meditation can reduce stress, improve emotional regulation, and enhance overall well-being. These findings underscore the importance of non-reaction in promoting mental health and highlight its potential for widespread application. Chapter 8. Developing Non-Reaction Skills Meditation Practices and Exercises Developing non-reaction skills involves regular meditation practices and exercises. Vipassana meditation, for example, trains practitioners to observe their thoughts and emotions without attachment. 
Mindfulness meditation focuses on maintaining awareness of the present moment. Both practices cultivate the habit of non-reaction and enhance overall mindfulness. Daily Routines and Habits Incorporating mindfulness into daily routines and habits is essential for developing non-reaction skills. Simple practices, such as mindful breathing, walking, or eating, reinforce the habit of observing without reacting. Setting aside time each day for reflection and mindfulness exercises helps to integrate non-reaction into daily life. Community Support and Guidance Community support and guidance are crucial for practicing non-reaction. Joining a meditation group or seeking guidance from experienced practitioners can provide valuable insights and encouragement. Community support creates a sense of accountability and belonging, which can be instrumental 